Hey everyone, it's Phoebe here, and I have some great updates to share with you on our schematic render. So let's dive on in and have some fun while we learn. So here I have this wonderful garment. It's all set up. No, it is not in schematic render, but we're about to enter schematic render. So to get to schematic render, I'm going to go to my 3D toggle menu over here. And I'm going to just the second one at the top, I'm going to select this and now it's in schematic. Look at that schematic. So we've made some updates with our top stitching. So here, if I go to my schematic window, always you can increase your silhouette line and pixels there. You can increase your seam line thickness as well. You can increase your internal line, right? Or decrease it. You could hide it if you want to hide it or show it. And you can also increase your top stitching. We've also added in more options for increasing top stitching if you'd like. And before I get into more of the top stitching, just know you can right here. If you have any questions with top stitching, there's a little eye icon hover over that it will give you all of this information that you can customize more of your modifications in your property editor and jump into there but also just as a reminder you can change your line color here and you can also decide if you want your garment texture or color and you can play around with your brightness so if I'm going for more of a sketch I'm probably going to have that brightness high and I'd want a white color also, just as like a nice thing to know about schematic, because I think a lot of people forget about this or they don't really know, I'm just going to jump also into my 2D window. You have actually a lot of control when it comes to schematic. If you go to your edit pattern piece, you can select different lines here. I'm holding down shift and I'm selecting them. And right over here in your property editor, you can then decide to show your schematic line or not. So if I uncheck this, cause I'm like, I don't want to show it, then it won't be seen over here. So let's do something that you can definitely see. So if I select this line here, I can go down into my property editor, show schematic line, and I can uncheck this. And then I can select this one too, and I can uncheck this. And now I don't see that line in my schematic, right? I can also check these again and I can say show and now I'll see it. So it's up to you on like which lines you want to see and which ones you don't. You have complete control over which ones you want to see. Again, you just like select the line using your edit pattern tool and then you can show or hide any of these lines through there. You even have control over the Z offset and like how far out you want it to be. So I like increase the Z offset a lot on this shoulder and you see how now this line's really far out. I can also decrease this to like zero right. and that'll be fine too. So you really have a lot of control and power over this. And it's really nice because sometimes you want certain internal lines seen. Sometimes you won't want some internal lines. So like for this one, I might want this internal line. So I'll turn on schematic render for that. But for other ones, I might be like, mm, didn't really want that. So that's just like fun facts to know about schematic. What I can also do now that's new is here I have control over my top stitches. So how to get to control over your top stitches is you're going to go to your top stitch at the very top here in your object browser. I'm going to go to my top stitch and I'm just going to select all of them right now. I'm going to hold down shift and select all of these top stitches. Then over here, my property editor right here, local schematic scale, I can turn this on or off. If I turn this off, then you're going to see my top stitches change a lot. As you can see, that was a really big change and now they're really, really tiny. And I can also turn this on again. I'm just going to stay in the 3D window because you'll see more. 
So now what I have control over is a lot of different parts of this one top of these top stitches. I can control the length, the spacing, offset, thickness, width, and distance. So I'm going to change this all back to 100 just so you can see how we can adjust and play around with this. Okay, so now we're at 100. Let's start with length. So this is the length of the stitch itself. So if I wanted to say actually the length of the stitch itself should be much longer because I want the like sketch and look of it to be more visible for like, let's say I wanted to put this on a tech pack or a line review or anything like that. I can then do that here. So I can say, okay, like, let's say I want it to be 200 and I'm going to hit enter. You can see now that the length of my top stitch has increased 100 to 200. You can see like right here. Now, what I'll also wanna do though is increase the space because right now it just really looks like a straight line. So now what I'll do is go into spacing, which is right underneath length. And I'll say, you know what? I probably want that to be 150. Now I can see it a lot better. And if I zoom out, I can even see like this a lot better too. Next, what, can, what I can adjust is the offset. So how far away it is from like the line or where it, or like how far away it is from the line. I was right from the beginning. This one, let's just say 120. And now it's moved away like 120%. It's not a huge difference. I'll like make it a little bit bigger for you to see. Let's say 170 now. You can see now it like moved a mu much more. I'm going to go back to 100 because I actually liked it like right where it was and I don't want to really play around with that offset. Next is thickness. So this is how thick that line's going to be. So for this one, I'm going to say 170 because I want it really thick and I want to be able to see it from far away because let's say I make like a smaller sketch. So now this is thicker. So if I like zoom out a little bit more, I can really see these stitches a lot easier. With percentage, um, let's say this is 115. Mm, you can't really see that much of the difference. Let's say 200 just so it's easier to see. Now, as you can see, like those stitch widths are much wider and thicker even like, and it even looks thicker. I really don't want that. So again, I'm gonna go back to 115. I think that one was much nicer, but that's like the width percentage. And then the distance percentage is gonna be similar, like how much distance you want, like percentage wise you want it to be. So let's just do a big amount just so you can see it. And now you can see like it's a much bigger distance between here and between each other. I'm going to go back to 100 because I really don't want that distance to be changed. Now they're next to each other again. And what's nice here is now like I can really easily see the type of stitching I want. And I can even continue to go in and say like, okay, well, like maybe my single top stitches, I'm going to actually act, adjust this offset to be 115 so that it's a little bit farther away from the edge so that I can see that a little bit better. Maybe I'm like, actually it needs to be even more. So let's say 150. Great. And then I can also say I want maybe the spacing for that to be even higher. So let's say the spacing should be 190. And you know what? I really want this, this to be a higher offset. So I'm going to say 200 so that I can really see the difference between this top stitch and the edge of the pattern. And I like that a lot more. I could even go into my double needle top stitch and say, you know what, maybe like I want this to be a little bit farther away too. So like 125 should be good, but not too much, just enough. 
So it's really nice because you can really play around with like specific top stitches or you can adjust all of them together. But what's also really important to know is the moment I hide schematic, those adjustments that I made do not apply to the actual top stitch at all. It's only the schematic top stitch that it applies to and that visual. So how the actual top stitch it should be constructed, all of that information is all still within the top stitch itself. All right here. All that we played around with is the visual effect of it for just schematic. And so you can see here how that local schematic skill is all the way over here. But all of the top stitch information is right here. So that won't change and that will all go into your tech pack and you'll be fine. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, use that comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and keep having fun in class.